Yeah, so I did not realize that Thanksgiving was this week until about yesterday. And obviously I have plans Thanksgiving and Black Friday because it's, you know, a holiday weekend. I'm gonna see family. I'm gonna see my girlfriend's family. Meaning I gotta get three videos done today. Oh, Wyatt, you've outdone yourself again. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys the plan really quick. Today is going to be my week 12 predictions. Tomorrow, we're going to do a Thanksgiving tier list in honor of Thanksgiving. We'll have some fun with that. And Friday, we'll get our franchise game in. Sound good? Well, good, because you don't have a choice. All right, anyway, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, and welcome to my week 12 NFL predictions. Obviously, I don't need to explain anything, so we're just gonna run over my plugs, and we'll hop right into the video today. So, if you guys wanna use my code on either GFuel or prizepicks.com, depending on what website, GFuel Wyatt's World will save you 20% off all GFuel products, and prize picks will match up to $100 of your first deposit. And then also, one more quick one that I'm doing for the holiday season, if you guys haven't been here. I'm working with my friend Matt from parentpresence.com. It's a website to help you get affordable and cool unique gifts for your parents for Christmas. Literally just a website of links to get you the items. You're not even buying anything. If you want to just check it out, the link to the ultimate Christmas gift guide will be in my description. Anyway, I'm done talking. Let's get into the video. All right, so starting off with Thursday Night Football, we've got the, it's not Thursday night, it's Thursday day, it's Thanksgiving, there's three games. Not gonna lie guys, this is all off the top of my dome here. So, starting off with Thursday morning, we have got the first Thanksgiving game and it is Buffalo at Detroit. I'm gonna roll with my Bills here, I think they're gonna win probably 27-17. The Lions had a nice win streak, and they're not going to lose out the season. They'll definitely win again, but they're playing a team that I think is substantially better than them on all aspects. Also, the Bills really need this win. If they were to get this win, then they would retake the lead of the East for now. And if you guys haven't noticed, that division is already as competitive as it can get. Buffalo will continue to run the ball. They'll play smart football, and they'll win the game. All right, moving on to the second Thanksgiving game. It is the Giants at the Cowboys. Sorry, Giants fans. I think you guys are going to kind of get whipped here. I'm going to take Dallas 33-14. Again, please, this is not me calling the Giants bad. They're a good team, but they're not a Super Bowl team, okay? Dallas is a Super Bowl team. They have one of the most complete rosters. They have one of the most menacing defenses, and they're going to be going against one of the least menacing offenses. They focus on Saquon. It's pretty much going to be game over because Wandale Robinson, he was great, and then he tore his ACL, and he's out for the year. Like, the Giants can't catch a break. I like you, New York, but Dallas is better than you, and they're, they're going to kick your ass. All right, and moving on to the final Thanksgiving game, we've got the Patriots at the Vikings. Vikings are going to win this game 28-21 because they have to, man. This is going to be a statement win. It's going to be Kirk Cousins saying, hey, I can play outside of noon, and it's not even my fault to begin with. It's the fucking O-line. And it's going to be a statement from the Vikings to the rest of the league who are watching them on national TV that they are not just a fluke team. The Vikings are fine. They're going to somehow have to hold off Matt Judon, but they're going to win this game, and they're going to bounce back. All right, moving on to the next game. It is the first Sunday game, Tampa Bay at Cleveland. I'm rolling with Tampa Bay. Like I said several weeks ago, their story is going to continue to unfold. They're not going to lose for a long time. Also, they're just better than the Browns, like on every aspect, essentially, other than running back. Tampa Bay's defense has also really stepped it up the last two weeks, holding the Rams and the Seahawks to at least 16 points or less. Rams with Cooper Cup. I don't think they'll struggle to hold Cleveland down. Tampa Bay is going to win this game, I'll say 24 to 10. All right, moving on to the next game. It is Cincinnati at Tennessee. I'm going to take Tennessee to win this game 24 to 20. I think the Bengals are a good team, but the Titans are just on a roll. And Mike Vrabel is starting to understand that his passing game is very much still alive. If they weren't passing like they were in recent weeks, I would be convinced Cincinnati is going to take them down. However, like previously stated, they're looking like the Titans with A.J. Brown, where they're dangerous through the air, they're dangerous on the ground, and I don't think that the Bengals are going to be able to stop them. Titans will walk away with the win, and Mike Vrabel's Coach of the Year campaign is going to continue to grow. Moving on, we got Houston at Miami. Are you serious? Miami 37 to zero. Uh, you know, I would be so happy if Houston won this game. Honestly, if Houston does win this game, I'll buy a Texans jersey. That That is my bet to you guys because I need them to win this game. I need Miami to lose, but they won't. This is like me and Brock Lesnar fighting in a UFC match. Tua is probably going to throw for like 450 yards, four touchdowns, and he's probably going to ride on Tyreek Hill's back into the end zone for one of them. I don't even know what it's going to take for the Texans to be good, man. A lot. 
All right, and moving on to the next game, it is Chicago at the Jets. I'm gonna go upset here and pick Chicago to win this game 20 to 16. Look, even if the Jets lock up the Bears passing game, they're still gonna be able to run because Justin Fields has been looking like prime Michael Vick. And if Josh Allen was able to torch the Jets with his legs, then so is Justin Fields. Now, I do think, you know, they're gonna struggle offensively to find a rhythm that gets them down the field right away because the Jets defense is very good. But they will find it, and I think they're going to find it faster and more effectively than Zach Wilson finds a way to get down the field and score. Zach Wilson is literally fucking holding that team back single-handedly. Bears are going to win, the Jets are going to implode. All right, moving on to the next game. It is the Falcons at the Commanders. Commanders win 27-23. I like Washington's defense lately. They've been disruptive. They've got some great players who provide great pressure on their line. I think Mariota's going to struggle, and I think he's going to suck. But sadly, Atlanta's still going to find ways to score. However, Washington's offense with Heineke is a completely different team. They're a different animal. He might not be the best quarterback, but they click when he's back there. Gibson, Robinson, Terry, Curtis, Samuel, I don't know. Maybe Heineke will rush in himself. But Washington will get past the Atlanta defense and the Commanders are going to continue their winning streak. All right, moving on to the next game. It is Denver at Carolina. And this game sucks so much that I'm going to try and make it entertaining with a crazy theory for you guys. I'm going to actually pick Carolina to win this game uh, 14 to 7. And Sam Darnold is starting, so I think he's actually going to have a really good game. And then after, we're going to have to listen to a week of how Sam Darnold, you know, is finally developed and he's going to be the guy again. And then next week, he's going to go out there and fucking suck. That's what I see happening here. All right, moving on, we got Baltimore at Jacksonville, and I'm going to take the Ravens to win this game 28-20 to because they need to in order to maintain that clinch they have over the AFC North. I think Jacksonville's going to, you know, fight. They're going to make it a game because they're sneaky electric on offense. However, Baltimore's defense full of playmakers are going to generate just enough turnovers to get them the possessions they need to outscore the Jaguars, which will win them the game. All right, moving on, we got the Chargers at Arizona. Chargers win this game 30-27. to It's going to be a fucking shootout. Pretty sure Kyler's going to play. Hollywood's going to be back. They're going to have D-Hop. They're going to be throwing the rock. But I think the Chargers offense is still better, and they're still going to outscore them, especially with the use of Austin Eckler. Both of these defenses are severely underperforming. Both of them are letting up points like it's their job. Both of these teams are very uncertain about their coaches. And I think Arizona's uncertainties are only going to continue to grow because this game they're not going to win. Next game we got is the Raiders at Seattle. Seattle 24-21. I'm never going to bet on the Raiders, not with Josh McDaniels. Plus, the Raiders are just too inconsistent. Some days Derek Carr goes out there and lights it up. Some days he goes out there and completes 40% of his passes. They're constantly hurt also. Like, you never know what you're getting with Las Vegas. Gotta take Seattle to win. Next up, we got the Rams at Kansas City. <laughs> Chiefs win 38-16. It's in Arrowhead, and I, I don't like that for the Rams at all. I feel like Matt Stafford is really easy to disrupt. You can get in his head like it's nothing. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be cold. Their defense might come out hot, but I can see him getting exhausted relatively quickly, man. I think Kansas City's gonna bully him. And unfortunately, they'll maintain their position in the race for the number one seed. Following that, we've got New Orleans at San Francisco. Niners win this game 30-13. to Another blowout here. San Francisco 49ers are my Super Bowl favorite coming out of the NFC. They're just too good, man. They are too fucking good. Yeah, top five tight end, top 10 receiving core, top five running back duo probably. One of the better O-lines in the league, the best defense in the league. And I don't want to discredit the Saints because Andy Dalton, like I said, he's been playing decent football and Olave has been looking really good. But they are in no position to win this game at all. I would not pick the Saints here if my life depends depended on it. And moving on to Sunday night, it is Green Bay at Philly. I don't know why I have a funny feeling Green Bay is going to win this game, but I won't pick them. I'll take Philadelphia. We'll say oddly low scoring though. I'm going to go 14 to 10. Philly's D is just too good, man. Especially with the addition of Dodamik and Sue. Like it's just a wall. I don't think Green Bay is going to have success running. I don't think they're going to have success passing. I think Watson's going to be completely locked up. I just don't think they're going to score more than like 10 points. As far as Philly goes, like Green Bay's defense isn't bad. They'll provide pressure. They'll make Jalen uncomfortable. But I believe Jalen's mobility using his legs, the eight running backs they have there, the ability Jalen has to throw on the run and link up with A.J. Brown at any time, it's going to be enough to make a couple freak plays happen and Philadelphia is going to win. And moving on to the final game, the Monday night snooze fest, Pittsburgh at the Colts. Why? What did we do wrong? Why, why, what the fuck? Uh, honestly, just because of how the Steelers looked and the Colts haven't looked bad either. I, I think the Steelers will win. Najee looks like he might be cracking the concrete off his shoes a little bit. Kenny Pickett's starting to look a little bit more comfortable. TJ Watt's back. That's going to provide a lot of help that they needed, even though I didn't think they'd be using him at the steam they are. It just doesn't matter who Indianapolis's quarterback is. It could be Ellinger. It could be Matt Ryan. I don't see them having a lot of time, a lot of success. Steelers will walk away winning this game uh, 2017. 
All right, guys, and that is all for my week 12 NFL predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do to show support. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post on this channel every single day. With everything I just said, I'm gonna hop off and get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. I hope you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving, and as always, I will see you in the next video.